Hi, I'm Travis, Blizzard Basement Hero. First, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to another product video. And if you're new to the channel, I welcome you. As Blizzard Basement Hero, they send me cool stuff. I make these videos to share with all you guys. So thanks again for tuning in. Now, today's video is a little bit different. Typically, I post videos um, of Blizzard's lighting fixtures. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some accessories. So they've sent me a bunch of cables and some other accessories. And I've been really dying to uh, check out these new cloud cases. So we're going to take a look at those today as well. Let's get started. Let's take a look at these different cables I've got laid out on the table here. So of course, cables are certainly something that we all need in order to make our light shows run. But let me tell you a little bit about Blizzard's cables and why they're different from regular ordinary cables. First of all, why have regular ordinary cables when you can have cool cables? That's right, that's what these are called, cool cables. And let me give you a few reasons why these are cool. First of all, a small portion of proceeds from all Blizzard's cool cables goes to support ongoing cancer research. So that's pretty neat. Uh, in addition, they do have a limited lifetime warranty. So you don't find that uh, with a lot of cables out there. So you've got that backing them up. And then finally, all cool cables come with uh, a Velcro cable wrap. So that's kind of neat too. So I've got a few different types of cables that Blizzard has sent me here. And let's take a look first at the DMX cables. So what I noticed right away with the DMX cables is they are durable yet still flexible. And the connectors have a blue boot on them. Um, and that's going to be with all of the DMX cables uh, from Blizzard. So when you've got you know, a bunch of cables in a bin, a crate, or, or, or what have you, you know you're grabbing a DMX cable because it's got the blue boot on both connectors there. Uh, they come in different lengths. This one is a three foot, uh, but they go all the way up to 100 feet. And I believe you can even buy spools of the DMX cool cable and make your own. Of course, then you'd have to get the connectors separately. So that's the DMX cable. By the way, these are specifically made for um, transferring data versus a microphone cable. So um, they're made with uh, excellent quality for transferring DMX data. Shifting over here now to some power cables, we see this one here is the PowerCon compatible, the twist lock, um, as some would call it, but it's that locking connector, PowerCon com compatible on one end, and a standard Edison on the other end. These come in different lengths as well. I happen to have here a three foot and a 10 foot, but again, those come in different sizes too. Moving on, we've got, um, this is another power cable. As you've seen um, it, with many of Blizzard's fixtures, a lot of them have a courtesy power outlet. So this would be something you'd want to pick up so that you can start to daisy chain the power out of one fixture and into the next. You have the PowerCon compatible connectors on both ends. So this one would come out of one fixture and then power up your next fixture. Again, these also come in different lengths. I have here a three foot and a 10 foot. Then we have these ones here. Now, I'm not too familiar with these. I don't, um, I've never had any, any of these before, uh, and I'm not sure if there's certain fixtures that use these, but this would be the cool cable. These are the true power cables, which would be compatible with the PowerCon true um, IP rated cables. So these are good uh, for outdoor use. They're IP, I believe, 65 rated. And so they can do you know, wind and dust and some water. Uh, so we've got that on one end here and then a standard Edison on the other. You can tell these ones, um, I don't know, it feels like it might be a little bit of a, a thicker gauge. I know that the rest of these power cables are 14 gauge. Um, and then here to go along with this is the, the true power cable that's got it on both ends here. So you can daisy chain with the true power cable. So we just went through some power cables, went through some DMX cables. Now these are really cool. We're taking power and DMX and putting it together in what I would call like a loom. So you can see on one end here, we've got both a DMX connector and the PowerCon compatible power connector there. And then same with the other end. So now how super easy is this to daisy chain? Um, we can loop our power and our DMX from one fixture to the next. So they do break out into two separate connectors at the ends, but as you can see, it gets formed into one single cable. So these come in different lengths as well. Here's a couple three-footers here, and it looks like I've got a six-footer here as well. 
So I'm really excited to, to start using these because when we, you know, like have fixtures um, next to each other and, and trying to do a bunch of home runs is not always fun. So um, I'm really excited to, uh, to, to test those out. Um, I've got an adapter here that they sent. This is a PowerCon compatible coupler. So you can go, you know, in one and out the other and extend your power using the, the coupler. Here's another nifty adapter that I believe Blizzard recently came out with. This is the twofer. Um, so what's cool about this is it not only splits your DMX, but splits power as well. So typically a lot of times, at least for me, when I'm splitting power or need to split DMX, I've got to use two separate things. I use a, you know, either like a cube tap or some sort of power strip. Um, to split the power and then you know use some sort of DMX splitter, but this does it all in one box, which is pretty cool. So very simple, you just plug it in. Uh, it does need power so that it can you know get you your 100% completely isolated um, signal. So plug it in, and then this is where the DMX input would go here on this side, and then quite simply, right on the other side here, we've got two power outputs and two DMX outputs. So that's called the twofer. Um, in addition, on the side here, it does have a threaded hole here. So if you wanted to um, put an eye hook or put some sort of clamp or rig this somehow, you can, you can use that. So that is Blizzard's twofer. Now on to these bags. So, you know, we buy all of this awesome gear and I love all of my Blizzard lights, but I don't know about you, but whenever I buy a new piece of gear, I always want to make sure that I have a case or a bag or something to keep it protected because it's going to be going into the trailer, it's going to be being moved around, carried in and out, and um, I just want to keep all my you know gear looking in tip-top shape. So I've been really excited to get these and Blizzard finally sent me some. These are the Cloud Case uh, by Blizzard and what they've done is, is pretty cool here. So they've kind of came out with two different styles so that you can um, fit different types of lights into these. Um, it's not really, you know, restricted to only a certain light uh, per bag. So this one here is interesting. Um, they both are, you know, they're all made out of, uh, seems to be like a nylon material. Um, they have carrying straps here with a Velcro, you know, to Velcro the straps. Um, so it's, it's nice and padded. This one here has two zippers. And then there is a zipper on the inside here. And I'll have to bring the camera around to show you, but in here, this is um, for different strip lights. So I have in here the Pixelicious, and it fits four of them. So it's pretty cool. There's dividers that go in between each one so that they're all kind of individually surrounded by some padding. One more thing on this bag is I believe these dividers, um, if you didn't want all four of these dividers and wanted to fit um, a different type of stick light in here, you can either fold them down or I believe two of these are removable. Let me just actually uh, take these out here quick so we can see. Yeah, they're actually Velcro. So there's Velcro right on the bottom there and you can take these out. So this one is removable. The one in the very center stays in, but you could also just fold it down if you didn't want that divider there. And then this one is removable as well. So two of the dividers just Velcro in and out if you don't need them or don't want them in there. And the one in the middle stays in, but like I said, you can just fold that down if you didn't want to use it. So that's the stick case. Moving on over to this case here, this is obviously rectangular shape. Again, it's got the handle straps here. The zipper is on the top. And on this one, you can see on the front where they've got the cloud case logo here is a zippered pocket. So you want to keep a, a power cable in here for your light or whatever you want. You've got a small pocket on the outside there you can use. This one is a, you know, it's a harder foam, so it's, you know, it's definitely going to protect our fixture inside here. It's not like super soft, um, but it's, it's almost that, you know, a little bit of a harder foam to keep it protected. And it goes, you know, all the way around both sides. And there's a good amount in the bottom of each of these as well. 
you can see on this side here we've got a divider, but this is removable. So with Velcro, you can choose to put in the divider or leave it out, depending on which fix you're going to put in here. So that's what makes this case kind of cool, is you could put in two smaller fixtures with the divider and have um, some nice you know, padding between them. Or if you've got a medium-sized moving head, something a little bit larger, you can use the whole space for one fixture. So I've got out with me today a couple of smaller fixtures to see how we can fit them in here. Um, here behind me is Blizzard's Nova. So I'm going to just put that right in here. Just like that, nice and snug. And let's take, uh, this is the Stiletto Z6. So just like that. Zip it up. And there we go. Now they're ready to go. So these are pretty neat. I'm really excited to be able to have all my amazing Blizzard fixtures now better protected in the cloud cases. So lots of great advantages with these cases being able to fit probably several different types of fixtures in these um, and having the protection with that foam and the easy carry handles. The only thing I would be concerned about with these cases is the zippers. Um, so I haven't had these out with me much yet, but I'm inter interested to see how, how long these zippers are going to hold up. Well, that's a wrap on this video. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Uh, feel free to ask any questions or leave any comments in the comment section below the video. I hope you enjoyed learning about Blizzard's cool cables and wh why they're so cool. Checking out the twofer and these cloud cases by Blizzard. So thanks again for watching everybody. I'm Travis, your Blizzard Basement Hero. I'll see you next time.